What up, everybody? It's your girl, July, from Kickback Couture. Today, I'm going to show you how to get multi out and midi out in FL Studio. So the multi out looks something like this. Each individual drum on its own channel. And the midi out will look something like this or sound something like this. When you send the MIDI from the Reason Rack into your plugin of choice, it will trigger it. In my case, I'm using a Scales and Chords player and a dual arpeggio. First things first, if you're in FL Studio and you're trying to find the Reason Rack plugin and it's not showing up, you're going to need to add it. So you're going to go to more plugins up here type in reason rack and if you don't find it up here then click on manage plugins if you do you're gonna start it like I have mine start and you're gonna scan your plugins this may take a while so after this is done after you hit find plugins then you'll be able to hit find type in reason reason rack and everything should show up for you First thing I want to go over is a multi out and I'm going to use the most difficult scenario, which would be a Kung drum designer. First thing I want to do is flip to the back and make sure all of these drums have their own assignments for the sake of this tutorial. I don't want anything to not be assigned to a channel. So we're good here. The first thing I'm going to do is flip over to the back of this rack by hitting tab. Gonna hit the drop down arrow on the IO device and I'm going to disconnect the right side of this. Reason being is that each one of these couples will be a separate output. And if we have one drum going into each one of these couples, our drum will be mono. So this is gonna be the first drum this will be the second drum and I'm going to hold down shift so that it doesn't auto connect in a couple like this. So I'm holding down shift so that doesn't happen. Each Kong drum output is going to go into a separate couple. All right, I connected all 16. Looks a little crazy, but this is what it will look like. I'm gonna flip back to the front and all these little red LEDs need to be off. So I'm gonna click these. What these are doing is sending the output of that channel into the main output. And we want these all to be separate. Now, before we move outside of this, we need to set up the outputs in Kong still. So this kick drum is coming out of both one, two, and three, and four. So I'm gonna pan that to the left. This one is gonna be panned to the right. And what we're looking at is the master effects down here. And as I said, this is the most complicated scenario for this, but I'm gonna show you the hardest way possible, the hardest scenario possible. All right, and here's the next sound. What we need to do is change this to three and four, pan this left, change this to three and four, pan this right. On this one, change this to five and six. Pan it left. Five and six, pan it right. Seven, seven and eight. All right, I've gotten all of these routed. Pan left and right. So the drum output is correct for these. This one is wrong. 9 and 10, 11 and 12, 13, 14. And this drum output number will correspond to which drum number it is. And you'll see the drum number up here. Only difference is 1 and 2, which will go to the master output, master effects. All right. Now, what we're going to do is click on this gear icon. Go here, settings, but we're gonna click on processing and we're gonna 
put this on one, two, three, and what this is doing is linking these drum outputs to the mixer. Now you're gonna do this all the way up to 16, and if you've done it right, you'll end up filling all of these. All right, so I got everything mapped from one to 16. Now let's take a look at our mixer. All right, so that is the most difficult scenario of setting up uh, multi outputs with the Reason Rack plugin. Easier scenarios would be the red drum or umph because you don't have to pan uh, left or right in order for it to go through. You simply go into your, pr your processing settings and route them. The next thing I wanna show is MIDI out. So let's create another instance of the Reason Rack plugin. And I'm going to go into players. Gonna select a scales and chords device. And you see this MIDI out automatically populated. Go back to players and let's grab a dual arpeggio. Gonna set a key here. E flat harmonic minor. Now the next thing I need to do is click on this gear icon up here. Gonna change my input port to one and my output port to one. Then I'm gonna close this and open a plugin that I would like to send this the MIDI through. So Electra X, top right for me. Let's go into my free KC Venomous expansion. Gonna select Ripper. Let's turn that down a little bit because we know electric can be loud. All right, now I'm going to go into these gear settings and change my input port to one. Now when I have this MIDI version of the Reason Rack plugin selected and I play, it is receiving the information. The Electra X is now receiving information from this. So if we try to play here, we won't get that. So we need to make sure we're on this channel. And then you could go ahead and add your melodies as you wish. All right. That is all I wanted to show you in this video. So definitely don't forget to subscribe. Let me know what you would like to see next. It's all culture, kickback, and cook up.